This is PMA Fitness. Yes, YouTube, what's happening? Welcome back to PMA Fitness. Today is all about the kettlebell. All right, this is a 20 minute kettlebell workout. We're basically gonna be working every minute on the minute because that's how I do these workouts. We kind of work for 40 seconds and we rest for 20, but we're gonna mix it up a little bit today with a different rep scheme and different kind of time-based movement. So we have two different movements today. So with your kettlebell, we're gonna go into a single arm uh, lawnmower row. Boom, so we're just there. Boom, squeezing that weight into our hip. Okay, and I'm gonna demonstrate the second movement. There's only two today, a bit of an endurance workout. The second one is a kettlebell flow, where we're gonna go into a high pull, boom, into a snatch, boom, into a squat, and then into a push press. Okay, and we're just gonna alternate all the way through, okay? So, let me get the uh, time up and the old clock behind you. We're gonna aim between eight to 10 reps on the rows, okay? And uh, let's go, start that bad boy, we're in. So right arm first, between eight to 10 reps, okay? Nice, so we're putting it into our hip, resetting on the floor, counting your reps, okay? Now here's the beautiful thing is, once we get to 40 seconds, everyone has to stop. So you might do eight reps in 20 seconds, you might do 10 reps in 30 seconds, but if you haven't completed your reps and when we get to 40 seconds, we're gonna stop anyway, okay? So it still means that we're working 40 seconds, but eight to 10 reps is a good amount. Everyone's got four, three, two, and one, so no matter how many reps you just did, rest, okay, stop, okay? But you should hopefully should have completed eight to 10 reps. If you've got six, awesome, that's your number, okay? 10 seconds we go with that flow. So high pull, snatch, squat, into that push press, okay? Right arm in three, two, and one. So, high pull, big powerful snatch, gotta be aggressive. Bring the kettlebell to that front rack position, squat, push, boom, and press. And that's all we're doing, okay? And now we're gonna go on to our left arm, okay? For that row, okay? Awesome job. You've got 15 seconds left before you have to stop, okay? So it's that, just one high pull, one snatch, one squat, and then one push press. Three, Two and one, rest. Really want you to think about, that's a kettlebell flow, okay? So you're flowing from one movement to the other, okay? Do your best not to break it down, try and flow through the movement. Right, left arm row, coming our way between eight to 10 reps in three, two and one. Let's go. Good. Yes. Squeeze it in. Eight, good job. Ah, come on, fives. Yeah. You got 15 seconds left. Keep working. 10 seconds to get those reps in. Between eight and 10, you got three, two, and one. Now the first couple of minutes, of this workout aren't gonna to be too challenging, depending on what weight you're using, okay? But this is a 20 minute workout, so it's gonna creep up on us. The endurance aspect of this workout, woo, it's gonna be a killer. All right, left arm, three, two, one, let's go. It's a big high pull, strong snatch, into that squat, push press, boom. Boom, boom. So with that kettlebell flow, everything has to be quite aggressive, okay? That high pull, 
Imagine someone standing behind you and you don't like that person. I want you to boom, elbow them. Pow, punch the sky. Hit that deep squat and then boom, punch the sky again. You've all got five, four, three, two, and one. Rest, okay? I'm pretty sure the majority of you completed that flow. You should be, I mean, should be completing that flow within 12 to 15 seconds ish. Right, we're back to the right arm. Row. Oh, it's going to be a good one. Three, two, and one. Let's go. Eight to ten reps. Pulling the handle into your hip, okay? You're not coming up to your rib cage. I want you to pull it into your hip. So we get that nice angle. Good. You put it. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Eight to ten reps. Nice. Eight to ten reps. You've got ten seconds before you have to stop. Good stuff, guys. Three, two, and one. Beautiful. B E A, beautiful. All right, 12 seconds with that right arm flow, high pull, snatch, squat, push press. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go. Hup, boom. Hup, boom. Hup, boom. Hup, boom. Yes. Work with the kettlebell in that flow. Work with it, okay? Let the, let the movement, okay, dictate the rhythm. Obviously, you're in control of it, but don't work against the kettlebell. And focus on your breathing as well. Very important cues. Work with the kettlebell, focus on your breathing. You've all got five seconds before you have to stop. Three, two, one. None of you are taking 40 seconds though to complete that, unless you've got like a 50, kettle, 50 kg kettlebell. Woo, I'm not talking. Left arm row coming up, seven seconds. Now this workout is starting to raise our heart rate a little bit, okay? Like I said, we're, we're, this is the minute six now. Let's go between eight to 10 reps, pulling it into your hip. Really working on that good pull motion. Working our back, our bicep, squeeze it in. Good stuff, guys. Hup. Hup. And again. Nice, you've all got 10 seconds to go. Beautiful, beautiful. Three, two, and one, you have to rest, okay? Eight to 10 reps, okay? What you'll find is the longer we go into this workout, the longer those eight to 10 reps are gonna take you. It may even take you 40 seconds to complete those reps. Left arm flow now, three seconds we go. In two, one, let's go. Up. Boom, big pull, up. powerful snatch. Hit that deep squat, boom. Up, press, press. Woo! Beautiful. Oh, baby. Like I said, between 12 to 10 seconds. I'm just going to grab my water, guys. Whoa. All right. You've still got 10 seconds to go before you have to break. Nice, 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 nice. All right, take that break, 20 seconds now. We're back into that right arm row. And now the workout is really starting to not challenge us, but we know we're working, yeah? We know we're working. Okay, we go in five, in four, in three, two, one. Let's go team, eight to 10 reps. <sighs> Uh, 
Man. Good job, guys. Well done. You got 10 seconds before you need to rest. Beautiful stuff. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. Now, some of you may have uh, the options to go for different weights. So if that pull isn't challenging, challenging you yet and you've got a heavier weight, then grab that heavier weight. Five, four, three, two, and one. Here we go. Big high pull. Boom. Boom. Push. Press. Beautiful. Hop. Hop. Yes. We're there. Halfway through this workout now, everyone. Smashing it. Really good stuff. Again, it's about being consistent. It's about being efficient. And if, if this particular flow or routine isn't challenging you, it just means that the weight you have, okay, is too light. Rest, we've got 20 seconds. And that's not, a, that's not a bad thing, it, it's a great thing, it's a good thing. It means you need to go up a level on that weight, okay? Left arm rows now, eight to 10 reps. We go in three, two, one, let me see it. Nice. Good job. Love that. Eight to ten reps, you've got seven seconds. They're actually taking me longer now. Those eight, those ten reps that I'm, I'm trying to do, they're taking me longer. Everyone rest 20 seconds, okay? Until we go into that left arm flow. High pull, whoop, snatch, whoop, squat, boom, push press, okay? Seven seconds, beautiful flow. <clears throat> That's what I love about kettlebells, it requires rhythm. You're almost like dancing with the weight. Three, Two, one, boom, boom. Nice. Also, you see what I did with the kettlebell on the t-shirt, right? You see that? You appreciate that? <laughs> Good job, everyone. Nice, now there is a lot of rest, okay? But when we are in our working set, we're working, okay? You've got five seconds until you have to stop, but I know you've all completed that flow. Three, two, one, boom. 20 seconds of official rest, and then we go into our right arm row. <clears throat> 10 reps for me, but it's trying to aim for eight to 10 reps. I know I'm repeating myself a lot, but trust me, there'll be one person going, how many? Three, two, one, let's go. Put it in. It's got to tap the floor every time in between those reps. Beautiful stuff. Woo! Eight to ten reps. You buddy. All right, all right, all right. Everybody can stop now. 20 seconds of rest, and we are into that flow. Bam, bam. Squat, push, press. Come on, bam. What, bam. Squat, push, press. Here we go. In four, three, two, and one. Like I said, somewhere between 12 and 15 seconds. 
obviously depending on the weight you've got, but that's how long it should roughly be taking you to complete that flow. 10 seconds before we all have to officially rest. And then we're into that left arm. Oh, baby. All right. Rest. Left arm row coming up. Eight to 10 reps. <clears throat> Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go. That's 
last one of the last times we do that. Okay, we are approaching our final minute. Your 20 second rest comes in three, two, and one. Take that breather, left arm flow, and then we are done. 15 seconds, guys. Take those deep breaths. Let's finish strong. In three, two, one. Let's go. Pull. Yes. Boom. Woo! Good job, good job. Finish that flow. Smashing it, guys. There's still 35 seconds left officially in this workout. I know you've all completed that flow by now. So I really hope you enjoyed that. A little bit different. A nice long workout considering that it's the same movement, okay? <clears throat> if you did find that a little bit easy, it just means you need to go up on your weight on the kettlebell and then it'll be a whole complete different workout, all right? 10 seconds left until we are officially hitting that 20 minute mark. Uh, guys, hit all the links below in, the, um, in the, my description for... My favorite brands and all that type of stuff. Please subscribe, please like, let me know your feedback if you want more kettlebell workouts. And until next time, woo, YouTube. I'll see you when I see you.